Ahoy mateys! In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create this box style animation using After Effects. Make sure to stick around to snag some valuable tips. Let's get started. This animation started with a smooth zoom out. Let's first check the camera that I've used. Double click that. For the camera settings, most of the time I use the OneNote camera. For the preset, the 35mm. I don't change the settings here below. Let's click OK. So it zooms out and zooms in past the subject. Let's now check the keyframes I've added there. Let's press U and highlight the keyframes. Once you've highlighted the keyframes, click this icon to show the graph. So if we highlight the keyframes again, as you can see here, all of the easing here at the end are all eased out. You can do that by highlighting the keyframes and then dragging the handle here to the left. I didn't drag the handle all the way to the left, just around this point to have this Okay, but a movement and just sitting around doing nothing, right? They know people are pirating their software. The peak here represents the faster movement. So if you want to make it faster, you can drag this all the way up. Let's see the changes. Okay, but Adobe isn't just sitting around doing nothing, right? They know people are pirating their You can see there that the speed changed a bit. For the parallax effect here, for the background and the subject, Make sure all of your assets are in 3D mode. Just select this cube. It will be in 3D. For it to have depth for the subject, you don't have to change the position here. But for the background, you have to change it to. It depends, but for this one, I set the background to. Where's my background? Yeah, this is the background. The background's position is 3000. It needs to be far. So if we go to two views, you can see here that there's a distance between the subject and the background for it to have this parallax effect. You can see here if I move this, it will move forward and back. Let's now move on to how I stylize the subject. So I think this is the CEO of Adobe. Let's just select the subject. What I did there was I added a tint effect. See if I remove that, you will see the color. So for the white, I choose the red. I also added a halftone color effect. This is from Boris FX. So if I remove that, if you don't have that plugin, you can manually do that by adding a texture, a halftone texture. Just drag that to your timeline. Let's reduce the scale. We'll position the halftone. And once you have it in position, choose the track mat here and select the subject, the CEO. As you can see here, it disappeared. You don't need to worry just have to click the icon here to toggle this icon and you will see the halftone pattern. Right now, it's hard to see because his shirt here is black and the halftone pattern is also black. We can also change it, the color of the halftone pattern. Maybe let's also add a tint. Let's change the black to a bit white, a bit gray or like that. Let's remove the halftone pattern for now and toggle the plugin back again. For this text layering, you just need two text layers, a front text with just a stroke and a back text with a fill. So if I remove the fill, one at the back, you can see that there's just a stroke of the 2013 text number at the front of the subject. And once I toggle the one at the back, you will see the fill. Now let's move on to how I stylize this 2013 number. You will notice that there's a feather here at the bottom. You can simply add a mask to that, but I think it's much easier if you add a linear wipe. So I set the feather to 250 and the transition completion to 55. But it depends on the text. So you can see here. If I move it up to around 62, you'll see the feather here. For the wipe angle, if you want it at the top, you can set it to 180. Let's make this 30. Or if you want it at the side, 90 or negative 90. Control Z. For this arrow animation, it's a template I've made. I'm going to link it in the description. One last thing, I also added a spotlight there. So let's see the settings here. For the light settings, I use the spotlight and sometimes I think I use this point light but right now I use the spotlight here. Intensity 130 so it would depend how close your spotlight is to the subject. To add a spotlight, just go here to layer, new and 
light. See the spotlight. How I position that. Go here to one view. Select two views. So it's just at the front of the subject. Sometimes I also add a spotlight at the side and at the back to add more depth. So yeah, those are the techniques that I've used to create this sequence. I hope you learned something. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. See you in the next videos.